hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's episode i will show you how i can create a hit effect using the unity particle system so let's get started start by creating a new particle system and rename it to light beam reset its transform now create a new material and rename it to light underscore matte Inside shaders, go to legacy shaders, particles and additive. Now duplicate this material by pressing Ctrl D and rename it to cuts underscore matte. Now I will be using these two textures inside my community project. First one is this and second one is this. This is acting as the light and this one is acting as cuts. So I have them on my desktop. Let's import them into my project. Select them and pick alpha is transparent and apply so that we can see them. Drag and drop this one into the cuts one and light mat into the point of light. Now drop the light map onto the light beam. So this is how they will look. Now let's make some changes here. Set the duration to 3. Set start lifetime to be random between two constants and the value will be 0.4 and 0.6. Start size will be random between two constants which will be 5 and 3. After that Go down here to the renderer and set the max particle size to 3. Now go to emission and here inside emission set this value to 0 and click on this plus sign to add burst and it will be a value also random between two constants. You cannot see it let's drag it a little bit the value will be 0 to 3 after that we will set color over lifetime set this color alpha to 0 then here the alpha will be full then it will be zero here and here as well set this one to somewhat purple pink and this one to blue set start speed to zero and uncheck shape Set size over lifetime to something like this. Now create a new light using the point light. Now inside the light beam, check lights, drag and drop this point light here. The range multiplier will be random between two constants, will be 0 0.8 and 1, ratio would be 1, or you can change it to 12. Intensity multiplier will be 0 0.8 and 1, and max light would be 1. So that's it. Now duplicate this first particle system, delete this point light and uh, rename it to particles underscore one. Set the start lifetime to 0 0.3 and 0 0.7. 
start speed will be random between two constants and that would be 6 to 10 start size will be 0 0.02 to 0 0.2 max particles will be 30 and inside emission set the value of burst to 30 and 150 check shape and set it to sphere radius will be 1 now size over lifetime will be something like this Renderer will be stretched billboard. Speed scale will be, zero, will be 0 0.3 and length scale will be 10. Now duplicate this one and rename it to particles underscore 2. Now inside color over lifetime, set these colors to white. Now duplicate it again and rename it to particles underscore 3 and set the color over lifetime to green. Now make all of these the children of light beam. Now duplicate particle system 2 and Rename it to hit. Set its start speed to be 1 and 4. Set the start size to 3. Now click on 3D start rotation and set the values of 90, 0, and 90. Set the start color to random between two colors. The first one will be pink. And the second one will be blue. Max particles is 15. Set the color over lifetime. Now set the size over lifetime like this. Now set the renderer to billboard and drop this cuts material onto it. Now restart it. Increase the start size to 3 and, and set the start speed to random between two constants 1 and 4. Restart it to see how it looks. Now select all these three particles and set the length scale to 10 and speed scale to 0 0.3. Now restart it. So here's how we can make our hit effect using the Unity particle system. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly interesting videos. We will see you in a new video. Goodbye.